We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. It was the Broncos who knocked the Patriots from the unbeatens last year. They're out for revenge as we're off on EA Sports. On the return, this is Jaquiz Rogers. They'll come out in the pistol. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. That's caught inside the 20s. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Larry Fitzgerald, 65 yards. And the Broncos have taken the early lead. Not a bad way to start it. And I think that that was part of their script because so many teams script their opening possessions. And, and whether it's just that possession or even deeper into the half, sometimes it's 15 to 30 plays. That had to be one in there where they call a shot play. Go for the big one, and they got it done. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Kelly. And nothing doing on his first run. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. And it's complete to Antonio Gates. And he's brought down after a good game. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So on that play, defense was in the zone. They ran a crossing route offensively, but the defense there, you got to be good with communication, don't you? You certainly do, and it's not something that is really evident when you watch it on the screen. But everyone's talking, communicating, pointing, and it keeps you from chasing receivers because you have a specific zone you have to cover. When a receiver's in your zone and he crosses to another one, you got to let your guy know. They got a completion there, but I like the discipline they show to stay in their proper areas and then make the tackle. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Looking for his tight end Gates, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. He's going to loft one deep left side here. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to be taken Let's down go. deep Let's into go. Patriot territory. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds. And, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Owen 
Daniels. A five-yard touchdown. And the Broncos will extend their lead. And it's good to make it 14-0. Now after the touchdown, it's Lachlan Edwards to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. Brady going to throw. Gates has it over the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? It takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football. Because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zone. Sometimes the receiver's going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there. It's a tough read, but when they're in sync, it's really effective. Now Brady again. And that's caught inside the 30. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Let's go, let's go. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, but they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Call it an eight-yard gain, much better shape now on third and just a yard. That was a good forceful run and it demonstrates why you've got to put your body on a runner when you're trying to tackle him. If you just go in there and just try and get him down with arm tackles, usually doesn't work very well, and we saw on that play, they're going right through those attempted plays. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, and he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A great effort there, taking it in from seven yards away. And the Patriots are back within a score. And his kick is right through. Coons on now to kick this one away following the score. This is taken at the three. up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And coming out now, the Broncos. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off by Sam Shields. And they have the football that will set up shop at the 33-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And they're going to need another score. Got one last time, but still down here. When you're playing catch-up, 
every possession becomes crucial, doesn't it? It's vital. Get back out on the field, punch in the end zone again. They know it's not easy, but what they do have going for them, they did score the last time. They think they've got a good formula working. And what about the defense? Well, now you're just saying to yourself, okay, you gave up a score last time. What adjustments do we need to make to slow them down? And now the rookie's free. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. And he's got it up and through. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only <laughs> one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. They give him a gain of 37. Well, plenty of credit has to go to the guy carrying the ball. He broke the tackle and gained the yardage. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the defender's bad. They're not going to make 100% of the tackles all the time. Even the best in the game will miss one occasionally. The key is not to let it snowball and miss tackle after tackle. On that play, credit to the offense, but that doesn't make the defense bad. Murray, the lone setback. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. A oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. He was looking for Jaquiz Rogers there, and it's third down. So still a full ten yards to go here for the offense on third down. One well, of the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sam Shields. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And now out come the Patriots. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he's got Rome. And the cutback to the sideline. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. A big play there. On his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Patriots have taken the lead. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Coons on now to kick this one away following the score. This is taken at his four. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones... They find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Yeah, can he put it aside? And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Darius.